On behalf of the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, the IFRC, I'm honoured to deliver this statement and, at the outset, endorse the principled and very welcome statement by Peter Mora, the President of the ICRC, made at the opening of this historic conference. The International Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement shares a strong and united commitment to strengthen international humanitarian law on the issue of nuclear weapons. My statement is necessarily short today, but a full version of the statement will be available on the IFRC website and through the organisers of this conference. The IFRC also congratulates and applauds the representatives of governments who have come here to Oslo to participate in this important global gathering, which is examining the humanitarian impact of nuclear weapons. Let me deal conclusively with any suggestion that the Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement and the global humanitarian community can ever effectively respond in the aftermath of a nuclear conflict, should this unspeakable event ever occur in our lifetimes. Everyone knows that the International Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement is recognised globally as having a leading and clear role to play in minimising the impacts of disasters and disease and responding to the needs of those made vulnerable by natural disasters and emergencies. Our national societies in 187 countries around the world have an outstanding record of working as auxiliaries to your governments in emergency and ongoing humanitarian responses. This is our core business and our core work, and when our movement speaks on this issue, we believe that the world will listen. But even large expert organisations, including national states, the movement and the UN, for all their vast resources and expertise, have often seen humanitarian responses been overwhelmed, and of course that happened in the 2004 Asian tsunami. However, these challenges, both local and international, are not in any way remotely comparable to the unprecedented and insurmountable humanitarian challenges that the use of nuclear weapons would create. We saw that at Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and the world will never forget. Today, however, we're not talking about the possibility of another Hiroshima or Nagasaki, horrendous as they were. We are facing the prospect of something much, much worse. Today, the destructive force of the world's nuclear arsenal is equivalent to approximately 150,000 Hiroshima bombs. A small nuclear warhead by today's standards has the explosive yield of about 20 times the Hiroshima bomb. Humanity has no response to such indiscriminate brutality. For this compelling reason, in November 2011, the Council of Delegates of the International Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement adopted a resolution calling for a world free of nuclear weapons and appealing to all states to ensure that nuclear weapons are never again used. In the spirit of this resolution, we call on all governments to pursue in good faith and conclude with urgency and determination negotiations to prohibit the use of and completely eliminate nuclear weapons through a legally binding international agreement based on existing commitments and international obligations. We urge all of you here to work together to take the necessary and constructive leadership to achieve this convention. For our part, we in the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies around the world will walk with you on that journey, engaging through humanitarian diplomacy with governments and raising awareness among the public, scientists, health professionals and decision makers about the catastrophic humanitarian consequences of any use of nuclear weapons. The international humanitarian law issues that arise from such use and the need for concrete actions to achieve the Convention. 
With the lack of any available humanitarian response, we believe that the people of the world are strongly behind the need for further regulation such as a convention. We are committed to mobilising the power of humanity to achieve that outcome, which may well change the course of human history. Madam Chair, in the grand sweep of human history, there are times when there are milestones of humanitarian progress which take the world to a better place. That occurred in relation to chemical and biological weapons conventions, the landmine conventions, and of course the convention more recently on cluster munitions. It is now time that we tackle the issue of nuclear weapons and to deal decisively with it. It is truly an idea whose time has come. Thank you very much.